In this video, I will show you how to make your very own DIY motorized camera slider. The idea behind this slider is that it's as cheap and easy to build as possible. Many camera slider designs involve using wheels or complicated pipe systems. These designs work, but there's a lot more to go wrong and not everyone can build them. My design simply involves sliding a piece of 2x4 across a piece of plywood. It is a slider, not a roller, after all. To build this camera slider, you will need 2x4, plywood, small eyelets, screws, a motor, felt, string, and a quarter inch threaded insert. This tutorial will be split into two sections, the camera platform and the track. The first thing you need to do for the camera platform is cut down a piece of 2x4 so that it's wide enough to fit the camera while still having room on both sides. This is what your camera will be mounted to while it's sliding. Now you need to drill a quarter inch hole through the center of your 2x4. Then use a spade bit to drill a larger hole around the quarter inch hole. Drill about 3 quarters of the way through. This will allow you to push a quarter inch bolt for mounting your camera through the 2x4. If you plan to use a tripod head on the top of your slider, change the design to make it work. Next you'll need to cut a piece of felt that's big enough to cover the bottom of your 2x4 and wrap around the edges. This is what makes your slider slide. Now you need to staple the felt onto the 2x4. Make sure you pull the felt tight as you staple it, and don't worry about excess fabric. We'll cut that off afterwards. When you're finished, the felt should be tightly stretched around the bottom of the 2x4. Now cut off the extra felt and make it look neat. Now you need to screw in the hook that the string will attach to. Measure with the ruler to make sure that you center it. Now screw a nut onto the bolt to hold it in place and you're done this section. Now that you've finished building the camera platform, you need to build the track that it will slide on. The track consists of a piece of plywood screwed to a 2x4. The plywood needs to be about 15 centimeters or 6 inches wide so that the camera has room to slide without falling off. Now drill a hole in the center of the 2x4 on the bottom and screw in your threaded insert. Once you have it screwed together, sand the plywood to make it smooth. Now you need to mount your motor to the track. I used a Kinex motor and mounted it using screws. The spool that the string will be winding onto should be close to centered on the piece of plywood. Obviously people will have different types of motors, so mount it in the way that best suits what you have. Once the motor is mounted, you need to screw two eyelets spaced about two inches apart into the center of the piece of plywood to guide the string. Now all that's left to do is wind the string onto the spool of your motor and attach it to the eyelet on the camera platform. As an addition, you can add sidewalls to your track to hold the camera platform more securely. Now you're finished and you can start taking some amazing video shots.